Hello everyone, I am Dr. Chenna Babusan Kavalli. Today we will be talking about uh, the symptoms and uh, the early presentation or the initial symptoms and the treatment of cervical cancer. So what are the early marks of cervical cancer basically? So cervical cancer usually begins in the mouth of the uterus called as cervix. That's where the tumor begins and once it starts there, slowly it spreads to the surrounding organs and also to the distant organs. So the early stage of cervical cancer usually they involve uh, the symptoms are very difficult to detect and there could be very subtle or initially there may not be any symptoms. So the first signs of cervical cancer may take many years to develop. That's the reason we always advise for screening for cervical cancer, may it be HPV testing or a pap smear. So what are the signs and symptoms of stage 1 cervical cancer? That includes a watery discharge or a bloody discharge uh, um, from the vagina, sometimes vaginal bleeding especially after intercourse and uh, in between the menstrual cycles if you have a bleeding that is a symptom to watch out. Menstrual periods may be heavier and they can last much more longer than the normal. So this, this could be the early signs and if the cancer has spread to surrounding organs, you could have a difficulty or painful urination and uh, sometimes it can, you can also have blood in the urine. Sometimes you have a fatigue or loss of uh, weight and uh, appetite and you also can have a generalized feeling of uh, illness and uh, dull backache or uh, pelvic or the cramps and the abdominal pains can be there and uh, swelling of the legs can be a symptom. And if you experience abnormal bleeding, if you experience uh, vaginal discharge, even it is a bloody discharge or a white discharge or any other unexplained symptoms, please see your doctor and uh, they can do some investigations to diagnose the cervical cancer. So the treatment of cervical cancer includes uh, surgery, radiotherapy and sometimes chemotherapy and immunotherapy as well. So for early stages of cervical cancer, you could do simple radiotherapy or surgery. Both are equivalent in terms of the outcomes. As the stage increases, the role of surgery comes down. So till stage 2A, surgery can be done and after that usually we give concurrent chemo and radiotherapy for cervical cancer. So surgery could be simple hysterectomy for stage 0 and stage 1 and we do radical hysterectomy which is also called as Wardim's hysterectomy wherein the uterus, surrounding parametral tissue and the lymph nodes, the ovaries and the fallopian tubes are all removed en bloc. That's why it's called radical hysterectomy and this surgery is done for cervical cancer in early stages. So it could be done most of the times it is done open surgery. There is not much of a data to support minimally invasive surgery for cervical cancer especially uh, there is a, some data which says against robotic or laparoscopic surgery for radical hysterectomy in cervical cancer. So please be aware of this information and uh, the need for radiotherapy as I mentioned before early stage curative and even late stage also it, it works uh, very well and at par with surgery. Chemotherapy can be added as part to the radiotherapy or in late stage it can be for palliative therapy. Thank you so much for watching this video.